today we have a uh, Jaguar S-Type R. So what makes this S-Type special? This is one of the S-Types where they put a supercharged V8 in them. So it's got a fair bit of performance in this luxury saloon that doesn't really look like it's supposed to have that kind of performance. Whoa! It just absolutely climbs. Yeah, it doesn't get... It's just it a tower no of power. Yeah, it takes no prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> so what would be the specs of the car? So it's a 4.2 litre supercharged V8 up front, a uh, six speed automatic gearbox in the middle, and then a limited slip diff in the rear. It's 400 horsepower. I'm not too sure on the torque specs of it, but it's got quite a, quite a bit. Um, and I think it runs a quarter mile in 13.8 seconds, but it's pretty quick anyway for a car that weighs as much as it does, because it's kind of heavy. It's got like a Brembo discs and uh, calipers, the four pots on the front and the rear as well because uh, it was done by Jaguar's R team. It's got electric coiled suspension, stiffen it up a little bit so when you're giving it some of the beans it, it, and around corners it, it is quite quite stiff. It's very comfortable uh, considering it's got like a sporty suspension it's still fairly comfortable. I was quite surprised because when you do go around corners it, it does feel quite uh, boaty like I guess. Yeah I can put on like the stiffness suspension, uh, suspensions uh, that it, it does tighten up a little bit. So what is the history on this car? As far as I know, it was bought brand new by a fella in England who had it for a good load of years, all motorway miles on it, full Jag service history. Uh, he sold it to another guy who took it to a Jag independent dealers uh, or like mechanics and that's where it was serviced for all its life and he again uh, didn't do very much mileage on it but what it, most of it was on motorway miles and then I was in the market f looking for a, a V8 car uh, I like my V8s and it's sort of the, just just going through picking all the stuff and I like Jags Jags are nice cars and so just looking for a, a V8 and say so I was trolling around got onto a company in in England that specializes in these and they had this one here so we flew out to Bristol to have a look at it, I seen it, I bought it, drove it back. And that was, and I've had it ever since. I will say it's very, very silent in here. Yeah, it's fairly quiet for for the car. Like, obviously, 2003, it wasn't super, you know, up to date like we have today. So the cars can be a lot more quieter today. Yeah, but it's pretty good. Yeah, for 20 years old, it's, it's fairly silent. Would this be your daily driver? Uh, yes, it would be. Um, I try not to drive it too much in the winter but being my daily you, you sort of have to but no, as a daily driver it's, it's comfy it's a uh, it's a nice size car for parking the fuel consumption is obviously atrocious like it's non-existent i think on average driving semi nicely around, well mostly nicely around just a town i get like 15 miles a gallon if you like spending a lot of time at the petrol station this is not the car for you <laughs> yeah yeah well the current average fuel consumption i mean i've been driving fairly all right 14.8 miles a gallon not bad the instant fuel economy at the moment is what's that the, the 37 miles a gallon 23 miles a gallon 20 20 19, 19. and i'm doing 55 miles an hour <laughs> <laughs> It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's not it's not so keen on uh, well you can pass everything on the road except the petrol station <laughs> yeah you're pretty yes <laughs> so what future mods do you want to do to the car on the exhaust side because it's got like two uh, exhaust like silencer boxes I want to take the rear ones out and um, just liven up the sound a little bit more and I don't know if you'll get that much more performance out of it but mm -hmm. just give it a wee bit louder because it is quite muted and then at some point when I not too worried about fuel economy uh, I'd like to change out the, the supercharger pulley put a slightly smaller one on just to give it that little bit extra power and then like you can do an upgrade for these I want to do it in this but not I haven't done it yet where well, you get a there's a company called Jag Droid mm -hmm. and they take the center console LCD screen out and then they replace it with a uh, Android tablet but in the same housing as the current screen is yeah. so it, fits back in and it doesn't look any different except now you've got a an updated android uh tablet in there what it oh my god it's just the just the instant torque you just get from it oh my lord it's yeah next gear yeah that's so good so what sort of quirks does this car have a couple of like odd things with the car is uh in these cars the torque converters weren't too great uh in the first production runs 
uh, they weren't strong enough for the power so some of them if they haven't been changed you could dri like, be driving down the road and then all of a sudden it's nothing there <laughs> the talk of it is said goodbye uh, other things if you want to put four people or like two people in the back just make sure they kids or don't have legs because they there's like no space to back there oh, really <laughs> yeah there, there's very little space in the back seats <laughs> like the touch touch screen uh, it's always a a laugh to, to use a navigation because it's like that old-fashioned you just feel like you've gone back in time uh, but it's, it's brilliant and then if you go, if you look on the JAG system like for points of interest it's like museums golf clubs ski resorts uh, casinos it's like everything JAG yeah <laughs> you know what I mean? just, just, not, just yeah just nothing about shopping and nothing just just like all, all your JAG thing like a theater yeah. like, or like, you know <laughs> restaurants theater nightclubs <laughs> it's got a good sound system uh, these came out standard with an Alpine sound system. Lovely, yes. So it's got a surround Alpine sound system and you can adjust everything on it. Um, all your basses, trebles, fades, balances. It's got subwoofer in it as well. Uh, another quirk on the car is there's no cup holders. I don't know if that was just because someone took them out, you know, of the center console when, you know, from previously, because I've, I've seen pictures of other ones that have them. Mm. So I don't know if that was even an optional extra and then to have a first bought the car I was just like nah, not doing that so yes yeah, so it's got no cup holders which makes it kind of kind of funny <laughs> driving around you gotta hold your coffee everywhere you're going <laughs> but luckily it's automatic so you only need one hand to drive the brakes work pretty well <laughs> yep well, well that's a good thing we're getting the supercharged version you get upgraded brakes yeah like I think the, the discs on the front are 12 inch or 11 and a half inch discs um, across so they're quite they're big discs and then um, so you got four pot Brembo uh, calipers yep. on them as well, so they can clamp down if they need to. So Jaguars aren't well known for their reliability. How are you finding this car for reliability? It's all right. I, I've never really had any problems besides uh, CO2 sensors or like your Lambda sensors. Mm -hmm. It loves them. It really does. But uh, but yeah, I'm a mechanic, so I don't mind. I, I love the V8, so I'll fix it all the time if it needs it. But it's been pretty pretty reliable. So I've had it now going on two and a bit years. I never had one problem with it. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is mad! Twelve seconds later. <laughs> you think the what? The time bug came on. One second. Yeah, nice work. I think the fan belt might have come off. I think it did. Is... Oh, it did? Yeah, that's why there's no air conditioning. Ah. Yeah, the temperature's climbing. We're gonna oh. have to turn it off. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh smoke. And that first is how Jack breaks. <laughs> At some point in the future, we'll do a part two on what happened to Llewellyn's Jaguar. So, thank you so much for watching, everyone, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye bye. See, it's a perfect baddies car. You can go do a bit of tax fraud, a bit, a bit of burglary. You can stick it all in the boot, go do golf, and then still run away because you've got a V8. <laughs> <laughs>